This may be a little bit of a controversial topic, but if you think that making 10,000 per month will change your life in 2024, you are very, very, very wrong. Now, the people who agree with me are going to be the ones who watch this video and have made 10K per month. For those who haven't, you probably think that I'm crazy. Oh my God, it would change my life. It would allow me to do everything you know I've always wanted. It's easy for you to say, Guys, I thought the exact same thing before I achieved that goal. And that's why I wanted to make this raw video for you guys today. I too thought that it would change my life. And I guess more importantly, when I hit that number and I seen it on the Stripe dashboard, I would feel free. Five years later, I'm still waiting for that feeling. The truth is, it's never really going to happen. Now, I say this having achieved it, and the only way you'll truly understand what I'm talking about is when you do too. Stop focusing on 10K and start focusing on the daily actions. I wanna break it down and explain why 10K isn't what it seems. Okay, so you bring in 10K, congratulations, right? Now, depending on where you are in the world, you'll have different tax laws. If you're in the US and Australia, you do have a tax-free threshold of your first 15,000, but let's not focus on that. So let's say you make 10K, right, consistently. And if you're a sole trader in Australia, your tax rate will be around 35%. So already you're left with $6,500. Now you'll have to pay processing fees, which is 3% on Stripe. So let's say you're at 6,200 now. All right, so any additional things like maybe some software, let's just say that's 500 bucks a month. So you have $5,700. Now that 5,700 must cover your living expenses such as like say rent, uh, insurance, car payments if you have them, uh, food. You can see that the reality of 10K per month, it's not great. Now obviously taxes do vary, right? It depends on how you're set up as well. If you're a sole trader, you're gonna be hit with a higher tax rate. However, if you're a company, in Australia that is, however, you'll be taxed flat 25% regardless of what you make, whether it be 10K or 100K, it's the exact same. The number you should be aiming for is 20,000 per month. This way you'll cover taxes, your expenses, and you're gonna save a little bit as well. Don't quote me on this, but I think the whole 10K per month thing came around when Ty Lopez was was pitching his SMMA course back in 2016. Now, for most of my audience, I believe you haven't hit your first 10K. And look, that's okay. So I wanted to address this. Stop focusing so much on that metric. It's gonna drive you nuts. You must focus on the inputs, reverse engineer it. Reverse engineer it and really sit down and really understand. Okay, so to get to 10K per month, this is how many clients I need. To get this many clients, I have to have this many sales calls. To have this many sales calls, I need to have this many people interested in what I offer. And to get that many people interested, I need to send this many outreaches per day. Break it down and once you do that, focus on these daily actions. I promise you, if you just focus on what you need to do, you'll hit 10K per month and then you'll realize it ain't shit and you need to put your head down again and continue to work. Do me a favor, anyone past 10K, comment down below, share your experience because I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your focus needs to be on consistency and trusting the process. The ones who make it and do very well don't care about 10K per month or even 50K per month for that matter. They just keep going and it's like, oh cool, we made this much last month. Okay, back to work now. Sure, it's easy for me to say sitting here now, but when you finally hit 10K, you'll understand and think, huh, he was right. What I want you to take away from this video is simple. Stop focusing on the vanity metrics and focus on the daily actions that are required. If you like, feel free to book in a call to see how I can help you scale your business. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you did enjoy this more raw style, just chatting to the camera style video, comment that below and I can make more of them. I'll see you in the next video.